Welcome everybody. I'm getting myself situated. Oh, okay, that worked out good. Okay, so let me just start talking now. Um, nobody is blocked. Hi to everybody. How y'all doing? I did a feature on my channel. The feature is to disable the chat. I'm about to tell y'all why I did it. So y'all just viewing. So if y'all feel as though that y'all offended, or if you wanna stay here to listen to what I have to say before I start the yoga as to why I disabled the chat, you can. If not, then you can leave. But I'm gonna say why I disabled the chat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get into the yoga session. While I put my lotion on. So I'm just waiting for a lot of people to come in or some people or the same amount of people that usually come in to come in. So I don't have to really reiterate because I don't want anybody to think that I blocked anybody because I didn't. I didn't block anybody. All right, I know my camera look a little crazy in my um, setup, but let me try to see if I can fix it a little bit. All right. Then I'll probably move back after a while. All right, so I don't know if everybody's in here, but I'm just going to start talking. And I'm just going to be always looking around at my surroundings because you guys know I'm in the park. So, I just want to say hey to everybody. Welcome to my yoga session. Um, again, I didn't block anybody. I disabled the chat because I feel as though that with my yoga sessions, I feel that my attention was not, all of my attention was not towards y'all. Y'all didn't have my undivided attention. In the yoga set, uh, in the yoga setting, the yoga instructor is talking and the students are listening and breathing. That's what it is in a yoga setting. If y'all don't know, I'm just explaining. It's That's what's in a yoga setting. They're breathing and if they do have, have to ask a question, they do but that is it. And they're focusing on their practice. That's what a yoga setting is. With the chat being up, I find myself not being focused on what I'm trying to bring to you. I feel as though I'm not giving all of myself or all of my training to the students. And that's not what I learned in training. In training, I learned that you have to give all your focus on your students. You can't be half doing it and whatever the case is, you have to have your full attention because you may have students that may need your help or students that you know have questions or if you see the students struggling, you have to have all your all their undivided attention. And I know this is virtual, but this will help me, you know, as I, you know, when I'm starting to be in a studio and teaching other people, which I have taught other people, you know, face to face. But that that with doing this, they gives this gives me a little bit more practice, but virtually. So with the chat being disabled, I'm able to focus on what I'm teaching you and why the poses are here and what the poses are here for and why you need to do them and things of that nature. And it makes me stay focused and calm and you have my undivided attention. I'm not always looking at the chat, making sure this and that or asking questions and things of that sort. The comments, you can comment after the video. When the replay comes back up, you can comment. That's fine, I'm cool with that. But as long as right now I'm gonna be on YouTube Live, my com my my comment, I'm sorry, my um chat is gonna be disabled. If you don't like it, you could leave. You know, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but this is what I need to focus on. Yoga is very serious to me, if y'all haven't noticed that. 
yoga is very serious and I have a passion for it. And this is my passion. I've been doing yoga. I've been doing yoga. Okay, we're going to start with also with my YouTube channel. It, it coincides. It goes together. 2012. And if y'all don't know the story, if y'all guys have y'all been with me for my, my subscribers, y'all know. To your, those of you that follow me, y'all know. My dad passed in 2011. February. Of 2011. He was sick. Before then. I tried to get into it a little bit then because I I was doing other things. If y'all look at my older vlogs, y'all know what I was doing. And it was hard. So I was trying to dibble and dabble in it a little bit then, but I wasn't as serious as I am now because I took it to another level as far as going to training and getting certified. When my dad passed, It, it was something that, it was crazy. It was crazy because I lost a parent. And I talked about this in one of my videos. He was sick. And then he passed. I didn't want him to go, but guess what? He had to go. I prayed and I prayed, I prayed and I was there until his last breath. And that's when I started getting deep into yoga. My channel started in 2012 and then following after that was yoga. Not even too far from then. So now, Cause there was a time where even though I'm you know I was of age when he passed I was just like my dad's never coming back never coming back and I had to realize that and a lot of things that I have done I have, I was attending places and I stopped and it was because of my dad. So now, um, that's where, and I've said it in many videos that this is, this is, this is what, this is, this is, this is where my yoga came from my dad my dad my dad had a very deep impact on me a very deep impact on me still do i always look back at what my dad told me what i've learned from him and even with my mom you know i'm so happy that i i was raised by parents that raised me to the young lady that I am today. If I wanted to go back in time or want, wanted, wanted something, or I don't know if I wanted to go back in time, I, I, I just, I, I would want my dad back. But I can't, I can't have him back. He's gone. Even though it was from 2011, that still hurts. That still hurts. So I have to focus on this and focus on other things that I will be doing next year because I've started making decisions of what I'm going to do. So I'm finally, the stuff that I didn't finish after he passed because I stopped because he left, 
because he died now I'm revisiting that again hopefully and I'm claiming it next year my dad wouldn't want me to be sitting here crying and moping and and all this stuff about him, I, and I do have times when I do cry, I do have those moments, don't get me wrong, I do, but I have to focus on a lot of things that I'm doing, and this is one of them, and I have other projects after that. I thank God for me being on this earth, and I thank God for me for me making me see the things that I see today and now and God's willing forever and not forever but you know like as long as I live on this earth <clears throat> excuse me I apologize for tearing up and stuff like that but this is very emotional for me <laughs> because this is this YouTube channel is my baby this yoga is my baby. And I just need to continue to, 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 to focus on, on me and the other things that arises from me. This YouTube my YouTube channel, I carry it as a precious gift because even though my dad passed, it brought out this. It brought out yoga. It brought out the YouTube. It brought out me making wigs. It brought out this. It brought out that. It brought out a whole bunch of creativity. And even though it took him to pass for all of that to come out, it's sad. It is sad because if he wouldn't have passed, I don't think I would have been on here. But it made me come on my show even more and all the creativity that I've been putting out there. I just amaze myself every day, every time. And I just can't believe this is what I'm doing. And I just think that I had this all along. So I just want to thank my parents having a part in this my mom she had a part in this too she's one of my biggest supporters and I have fam other family and friends that are supporters are big supporters as well but she's my biggest supporter she pushes me to do stuff and I'm glad to still have her here and that's why I want to continue and push myself and motivate myself to do things so this is why the chat is disabled because I need to focus because this is business. This means business. And this is my love and my joy. And this is what I love to do. One of the things that I love to do. Because I do a lot of things. So I apologize in advance for me crying. And I apologize. And I'm sorry I took up your time for the yoga. I apologize. So those of you, you can speed up. I'll put a time stamp at the bottom. But I just had to, had to say that. You know, because of the chat being disabled. So again... If you feel offended because the chat is disabled, it's not that I don't want to talk to anybody. It's just that I have to be focused. And that's what I have to be focused. Because if not, I, I, don't, I don't think I will get greater at what I need to do or where I'm going. So my dad had a big impact on everything that I've done. And my parents, my mom and my dad, they raised me. My dad been in my life since the time to, till the to end the time until he took his breath to February 2011. Been there all my life. My parents were together. They were married, not divorced. But I'm going to do this yoga session. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this yoga session. I'm going to do it. And um, because this is what my dad want to see me succeed. And I want to make him proud because I know 
I can do this. I know I can do this. I know. I know. I wasn't supposed to cry, but you know, this is being a little transparent. Just, just to give y'all the meaning and you know why I disabled the chat and and what yo what where the yoga where the yoga came from and I've said this in other videos and I've I've done yoga collabs with other people and things of that sort and thing and stuff like that so um, but I just felt that I should give you the background again I'll try to link down videos down below so you guys can go back and see but. And I just see, I just, I just see my growth from, from, from my first video to now. I just know that my dad would, would be proud of me. I'm sorry, y'all. But that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to get into the yoga session. Because even though I'm emotional right now, I do need it. I need it just as much as you need it. So with that being said, we're going to um, take some deep breaths and get into the session. I apologize. Again, if this is not for you and you, if you don't like, like the chat being disabled, then, then you can exit out. But I just had to let that out and and that's why the chat is disabled and it's going to be disabled until further notice it may be a year from now it may be God's willing two years from now three years now I probably won't even be on this platform I'm probably on something bigger <sighs> I'm sorry I don't want me crying either um, I'm just gonna get into the session Again, I apologize about that, but I just wanted to get that out. And, um, you know, I did a vlog earlier and I was talking about it some more as well. Um, but that's just what it is. Um, so I thank y'all for listening to me. And um, again, you can leave comments after, after the replay is up. And you can put comments. But just know every time you come to this live, the chat will be disabled. Okay? I thank y'all for sticking with me. We're gonna get into this yoga. And always make my, my dad or my parents proud. Okay. Again, I'm sorry for being emotional. So we're gonna close our eyes and we wanna breathe. Again, I um and look at my surroundings. You can begin a seated position and take in everything. And I just thank God for being here another day and doing what I love. So just continue to breathe. I'm going to breathe for a couple minutes. It may be a longer breathing session today. Continue to breathe. 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 Breathe in through your nose. Out through your nose or your mouth.
bring your hands at heart center to those of you that are participating. Hands at heart center. And set your intention for tonight. Whatever intention it is, let it be positive and not negative. And whatever that's weighing on your heart. And to send it out there. All right. So I'm going to back it up. And we're going to start. It's a little chilly out here today. But. Um, wait till I get myself situated. Same thing. I'm still trying to get situated. I didn't want to put my feet in the grass. But I did. I'm going to kind of push myself today. I hope y'all hear me. If y'all don't hear me. Just watch me. Try not to go hard on you today, but the mood that I'm in, y'all just gonna have to suck it on up. <laughs> um, so we're going to no, we're gonna start seated. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do a little bit different. We're gonna start seated. Um, I um, yeah, I got two mats like this because. Um, when I put my arm out and stuff, cause I, I ended up with like a little, I had like a little rash or something. So, um, um I messed up. <laughs> and also if I, um, if I buffer or if I, um, if, if it disappears, cause you know, I have to keep an eye on this cause YouTube be trying to play me, you know, when I was emotional and then they just play me. But, um, you know, just continue to do it. Um, continue until I come back. Okay. Um, so again, I apologize for the beginning, um, and, um, you know, I just had to let that out. I had to vent a little bit, be a little bit transparent with y'all, um, because I take this very seriously. This is, this is, this is not a joking matter for me. Okay. All right. So I'm going to sit here, um, in a seated position and we're going to have your back straight, your posture straight. Please don't be like this unless we're doing a pose or a move like that. Um, if you see me going like this, I'm trying to get rid of all these flies and stuff and mosquitoes. They're trying to eat me up. So we, I'm gonna try not to be out here too long with y'all. But again, I apologize for the long beginning, okay? All right, so we're gonna turn our head to the left and breathe, all right? Turn our head to the right, I'm sorry, and breathe. <laughs> um, YouTube is messing with me. All right. And then we're going to put our head to this side. Neck to this side. Down. And up. Down. And up. I'm going to bring our arm up, right arm up, and bring it to your left knee. We're going to bring our left hand behind here. And we're gonna look over the shoulder as we breathe and do a little mini twist and breathe. Look over the shoulder. I'm looking at the uh, the YouTube. Uh, I'm looking at the YouTube camera. Um, the YouTube camera because be playing me. Your left arm up and bring it to the right. Bring your arm in the back and turn and breathe. And breathe. All right. And then we're gonna bring our arms up and breathe. Bring it back to heart center. Again, bring your arms up. Bring it back down. Heart center. Then we're going to take our left arm. Bring it down here. Bring our arm up. Bring our arm over our ear. And we get a nice side stretch. Your forearm is on the mat. As you gaze up, at your, your, your dristy is going to be your hand. If it's too much for your neck, bring your um, look down. So it really depends up upon you. Bring your arm up. Forearm to the right side. Bring it on over. Look at your hand. Look up. If you can't, if it's too much of a strain on your neck, bring it head down. And breathe. Remember to breathe. Come back up. I'm going to interlace our fingers. I'm going to stretch up and look up. 
stretch off to the side, look up, stretch off to the right side, and look up. Bring our arms back to heart center, breathe again, bring your arms up, bring it down, breathe again, up, down, breathe again, up, down. Now we're going to get out the seated position, and I think something bit me, and we're going to go into a laying down position. Go into the laying down position, and we're going to take our legs here, and we're going to windshield wipe, so to the right, to the left, as you're breathing, right, to the left right and to the left now we're going to bring your legs to the right if you want a further stretch take your foot and put it on top as a further stretch if not do a regular and then bring your arms out to the side and your gaze is going to be to the left all right have a nice mini twist right here and this is a good nice stretch for your thighs here okay I'm looking to the right because I'm looking at the camera. All right. Now let your legs fall to the side here. For a further stretch, put your foot on top of here. If you can't do it, if it's not in your practice, do not do it. I don't want anybody going to the hospital. <laughs> so, and have your arm out. And then you're going to look to the right. Okay, get that side twist here. Look to the right. Your foot can be flexed, so you could, you know, we're warming up all the muscles, so make sure your foot is flexed. And again, don't do this if you can't, that's fine. And this is a good, nice little twist for the, the lower back and the back up here as well. Bring it back up, legs in neutral. Now we're going to Take your right leg and we're going to point and flex the foot. Then we're going to circle the foot around one way. Then we're going to circle the foot around the other way. Point and flex the foot again. And make sure your other foot is flexed. All right. Bring that down. Take your left leg. Flex the other foot. Then you're going to point and flex the foot here. Spread your toes. I forgot to say that on the other one. Remember to breathe as well. Other direction. Point and fit. And bring it back down. Now you're going to take your strap, your yoga strap. I hope you have it. If you don't, you can use a, a belt, a, a, um, a scarf, a resistant band, a towel, whatever you have handy. You can use it. Take your right foot and you're going to bring it up and if you want to stay here stay here um if you can stay here this is for modification here stay here all right if not then okay so let me move back so everybody get in position i'm just going to move back a little bit so you guys can see my foot because i i hate when you can't see me fully because i want you guys to do the do it right Okay, because I want you to see all of it. Okay? Alright, I hope you can see all of it here. There's so much noise over here. Alright, so. Okay, okay, my foot right here. Okay. So, here's the modified version. And here it is. Y'all can't hear me, just watch. Alright? Alright, so we're going to do a big circle around town. If you can't do that, do a mini circle like this or do it in the other direction is really up to you so circle around town circle around town circle around town back it up <laughs> other direction and you guys know whatever you do on one side you must do the other side for yoga so yeah and then we're doing other direction because you're trying to warm up all the muscles this is good for your hip flexors right here, which is located right here. That's good for um, pigeon pose and um, splits. 
and other poses that requires your hip flexors, okay? This is just to help those out, all right? Now we're going to switch to the left leg. And again, this is a modified version. If you can't do this, then uh, if you have a modified version, I'm gonna extend my leg. You can do mini circles like this or medium circles, or it's really up to you, but I'm gonna do big circles because this is, this is what I want today in my practice. So again, you do whatever that your body feels and wants you to do. I understand you wanna push, but if your body tells you no, or if you feel a sharp pain or something like that, please stop, okay? Because your body, is, your body is supposed to tell you what you can and cannot do. So you don't wanna be in pain while you're doing yoga. When you're doing yoga, you want it to be pleasurable. You want it to be enjoyable, pleasurable. You don't want it to be painful, okay? Other direction. Yoga is not painful. Just remember that. If you're in pain, please stop right now. Okay, I don't want anybody going in the hospital because like Marquita told me to do this and no, 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 Marquita said, <laughs> listen to your body, okay? All right, so we didn't do this on this side, but we're, I'm gonna take the other leg and do it. But if you can do it, go ahead. If you can't, just keep your leg in neutral. But I'm doing this, I'm a little stiff today. That's fine. All right, switch the other leg and do the same thing. Again, if you can't do it, that's okay. Just stay neutral or get into child's pose. I will show y'all child's pose in a few. And I'm gonna introduce y'all, well not introduce, but I showed y'all how to do forearm plank. I don't think, I don't know if I did that in one of my uploads, but, um, but yeah, we're gonna do forearm plank today. We're gonna do three of those and three of regular planks, okay? So three and three, so six all together. So get ready for those. Next time we're gonna do 10, okay? Five and five next time. But right now, you know, I'll give y'all a break, okay? All right, well, some of y'all probably just now coming back or what have you, so yeah. All right, so now, we're gonna be here, all right? We're gonna take both of our knees and put them together and rock back and forth. Here we go. This is massage the back a little bit. All right, all right, now we're gonna rock back and forth to sit up. This is good for the back as well. Do it as many times as you can. Cross your feet, uncross your feet, okay? Bam, here we go. All right, now we're gonna get into a seated position here. Back is straight, so you want your posture to be good. Your, I said posture. Your posture to be good. You don't wanna be sitting like this. This is very wrong. Please stop being lazy and um, put your, please put your back, I got bit by a mosquito. Put your back, I need to hurry to get out of here. Please put your back um, straight like this. And then you're going to bring your arms up straight like me and hold your stomach in. And you're gonna bend at the waist, bring it down. Here we go. If you can't go right here, please go right here or right here or right here. It's really up to you wherever you can go. If you can't go to your feet, that's fine. When you're bending like this, please make sure and look and check that your back is straight. Um, if not, then you're doing it wrong and you can injure yourself. All right, so make sure it's straight like this, not rounded. This is so totally wrong. Please, it's totally wrong. So please make sure your posture is correct. Do not try to force to get to your feet don't round your back to try to get to your feet just because you just want to touch your feet you'll get there soon just not today if you can't get there okay do what your body tells you to do again all right nobody wants to get hurt in yoga okay that doesn't make sense sometimes it does happen of course it does happen but you want to try to prevent it as much as you can you know i mean it happened to me me trying to do a split i think i told y'all before and um, I was hurt for a few days, but I was back to normal because I didn't stretch enough to get into that position. So that was my fault. So make sure, you know, when you're doing certain positions, you stretch enough in the right way, okay? All right, so now we're back up and make sure you're breathing. I didn't say that because I know it's kind of hard with the stomach, but you still gotta make sure, okay? All right, so now we're going to go into tabletop position and we're gonna do take some cat and cows. Please make sure you look at my feet position when I um, arch my back and things of that sort, 
make sure your hands are like this in a um like a suction cup this is wrong please make sure your hands are like suction cups on the mat make sure that your wrist is kind of like you know everything's aligned you know make sure that your your um uh your knees are like two two fists apart i never said that before just make sure it's like your fists apart from each other not too close like this you know just make sure it's like that and then um yeah so make sure your hands are like apart like this you know a good little bit of distance okay all right so this is tabletop pose tabletop pose and then we're going to do cat and cow so please look at my feet as well because this is the correct way that you should be doing it so you're going to inhale arching Okay, inhale and then you're exhaling right here. And try to hold your breath. And I hold oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> try to hold your stomach. <laughs> I am so sorry. Try to hold your stomach if you can. Suck your stomach in. But don't hold your breath. Make sure you're breathing. I'm sorry. That is so wrong. I that is so wrong. I apologize. I didn't mean to say that. Sorry, y'all. Okay, continue to breathe. Continue to breathe. All right, now we're done with the cat and cows, unless you guys want to continue with the cat and cows. But I want to show you guys um, the child's pose. So if you guys don't want to go on the child's pose and want to continue with the cat and cows, you can. But to those of you that don't know what child's pose is, this is what child's pose is. You can open up your knees if you like. This is more comfortable for me. Or you can close your knees and go down like this with your arms spread out. Or you can open up your knees and then bring it down this way. This is a pose, a, re a reset pose. Okay, it's a reset pose, a safe pose where you go when you are having, you know, um, trouble getting into other poses or if you need a rest or anything of the sort, that is where you go to rest and reset, okay? So that's basically it about that. So um, just breathe there, reset there for a little bit, and then we're going to come back, okay? So breathe, 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 breathe. All right, with your head to the mat. All right, I'm looking around because you guys know the surroundings. Uh, make sure your head's on the mat and continue to breathe. Okay, continue to breathe. I am getting bit up, y'all. All right, continue to breathe. All right. All right, so bring it back up. And if you need to um, alleviate any pressure off your wrist, you, you can circle them this way or circle them the other way. It's really up to you to alleviate any pressure because I'm telling you this right now because we're about to get into some planks. All right. All right. So we're going to do regular planks and we're going to do forearm planks and we're going to do side planks. OK, so I am going to kind of get y'all today. All right. So before we do that, we're going to do opposite hand and opposite foot. I forgot. So um, so get back up to tabletop pose and then we're going to do opposite hand, opposite foot. So we're going to take the right foot and then we're going to take the left arm bring the right leg up and then we're going to hold the stomach in and we're going to breathe 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 hold it hold it hold it hold it hold it hold it we're going to hold this for a little minute y'all if y'all can't hold it bring it down but i'm going to hold it because that's how i'm feeling today so we're going to sit here for a minute and we're going to continue to breathe again if you can't hold it please bring it down or you could bring your foot down like this okay all right if you need that all right but if you don't and if you want to feel the burn like me then do it all right now we're gonna bring it in bring it out this is number two bring it out number three we're gonna do four bring it out four bring it out all right bring it back down now we're gonna do the left side right arm bring the left leg out here then we're gonna take the right arm out and then we're going to bring the left leg up and we're going to be here for a minute and we're going to breathe again if you can't do it stop all right so we're going to be here and we're going to breathe hold your stomach in if you can i'm trying to do that i know it's a lot of instruction but please and please make sure that your foot is flexed all right make sure your foot is flexed because you're engaging all the muscles there's all the muscles in your legs if you feel any pain if you're tired or exhausted you can stop again remember you can put your leg down if you want to feel the burn like me, continue to do it. You're going to hold it and you're going to breathe. Breathe and hold it. Breathe and hold it. Breathe and hold it. 
breathe and hold it. I'm gonna hold it. Hold it. Bring it in. And breathe. We're gonna do four of these. Bring it in. Bring it in. I think it was four. I think that did four. If not, I'm gonna do one more. All right. All right, so there we go there. So now you can bring it down to child's pose. Take a nice little rest and alleviate the pressure if you want to. It's really up to you. Man, I got shit. All right, continue to breathe. I'm sitting up. But y'all can do how, however y'all want to do. So continue to breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All right, all right now. So continue to get your breath because we're doing these forearm planks and we're going to do side planks. We're going to do both sides, okay? So, um, and I'm going to show y'all how to do a modified plank and I'm going to show y'all how to do a regular plank, okay? Um, a side plank, you guys should know what that is with the foot stacked on each other. I think I'm going to do like a regular, I don't know. There, there's two ones you can do. You can do the forearm side plank and you can do a regular, regular side plank. So I'm going to see what I can do for today and I'll, te I'll teach y'all that, but I, I, I taught it... Um, and in, in another live I did somewhere else. So yeah. All right, so now we're going to get into the plank. So now we're going to get into downward facing dog. All right, so we're gonna get into downward facing dog. Bring it up. And I'm gonna breathe here. All right. And then we're gonna go into plank. We're gonna do a regular plank. We're gonna do three regular planks and I'm gonna show y'all the forearm plank before we do it so you guys can know. All right, so we're gonna breathe. Hold your stomach here, breathe. You can put your foot up if you want to. I'm gonna put my foot up, and I'm put the other foot up, and I'm gonna stay here for a minute. I'm gonna stay longer today because that's how I'm feeling. If you can't stay long, then you can stop. You can feel the burn in your thighs. If you feel any pain anywhere else, please stop. If you can't stay long, do not do it. Please go down. If you wanna do it, you could go like this, modified version if you want to, but please, all right? This is wrong. Do not do this. You're hurting your back, all right? Stay, breathe, 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 breathe. I'm doing the leg again. Doing the leg again. It's how I'm feeling. It's how I'm feeling today. All right? And it's how you feeling with your practice, okay? Chaturanga or knees, chest, and chin. I'm going to do Chaturanga. All right? We're here breathing. We're here breathing. All right? That's the first plank. All right? Now we're gonna work on number two. Regular plank. Do it to downward facing dog. Down into regular plank. Here we go. Breathe, 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 breathe. Right leg, left leg. Stay here. Breathe, this is wrong. Right, breathe, 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 breathe. If you want to challenge yourself, I say put your arm up, but we can do that the next time. <laughs> it's too much, but yeah. I was just thinking about that because that's how I'm feeling today. All right, again, if you want to come down, you come down right there. If not, stay up here. Right leg again. Left leg again. Breathe, hold your stomach in. If you can, chaturanga, knees, chest, chin. I'm going to do chaturanga. Bam. All right, that's how I'm feeling today. I might do, I might do all chaturangas. I'm probably going to show one knees, chest, and chin. If there's some new people in the room. That was number two. Last regular plank for number three. We still doing planks. It's the last regular plank. Don't get happy. <laughs> All right. Downward facing dog. Plank. My hand's slippery because I had that <laughs> lotion. Right leg. Left leg. Stay. Breathe. 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 Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Breathe. Breathe. If you can't do it, stop. Breathe. Breathe. Right leg, left leg. Breathe. Breathe. Stay here. Breathe. Focus. Breathe. Breathe. Knees, chest, and chin. Chest, and chin, knees. Press and chin. All right. That's the last regular um, plank. This is forearm plank. Your forearms are on the floor. We're not going to go into downward facing dog into forward plank. We're going to do for, I said forward plank. Forearm plank. This is how you're gonna get into it. Your forearms are on, like this is like um this is this is called a sphinx pose. Okay, so it looks like you're in the sphinx pose, sphinx pose here, and you're going to take your right leg or bring both of them up. 
And you're gonna be here. Hold your stomach in and breathe. All right, this is number one. This is number one. Bring it down. All right, we got two more of these to go. Take your breath. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Take your breath, breathe, breathe. Because I need to take a breath, but I'm pushing myself because this is how I'm feeling today. Here we go. Back into it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe, breathe, hold it, hold it, breathe, 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 hold it down. All right, there we go. Take your breathers, because we got one more forearm plank and then we good for this. Forearm planks while we sit in here is good for your strength. If you want to do handstands or headstands, this is good arm strength. Doing planks and, for and forearm planks, doing chaturangas, doing side planks is all good the side planks that we do we're only probably only do one on one on each side because i think i'm introducing it to y'all so we're going to do one and one the next time we're going to add two so each time i go live whatever the case we're going to add up a, a side okay that's what we're probably going to do okay so just to take it easy on y'all i will do one on one so one on each side you guys know and yoga whatever you do on one side you must do to the other side all right so this is the last forearm plank Get ready, take your nice breath, bring it back up. Breathe, breathe. Hold your stomach in, breathe. That's hard to hold your stomach in, but I know it's a lot of instructions, but try to do it if you can, it's fine. Breathe, breathe. I feel a mosquito biting me, I think. <laughs> breathe, breathe, hold it, hold it, breathe. Hold your stomach in. Bring it back down, breathe. Go into child's pose. And alleviate. I know, I know your wrist probably, you know, got the pressure in there, so this is what you do. Alleviate and go into child's pose, reset, and take some nice breaths. Because we're going into the side plank. I'm going to show you modified plank. And I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to show you modified plank. And I'm going to show you a regular side plank. Modified side plank, I'm sorry. All right, so get back up. Just watch me. I'm gonna start on the right side. You're gonna take your right leg here. All right, so let me move this down a little bit so my foot won't be, okay? Move that over there. All right. All right, so your foot is gonna be back here. Your foot is gonna be like this. This is your this is your foot, the right, the right foot. It's gonna be like this, behind you, like that. I'm gonna take this side and bring it out here. I'm gonna bring this right arm here. I'm gonna bring this arm up, your left hand up, your hand is facing outward like this, all right? This is the side plank, both of your feet. Basically stack together, let me try it, boom. There we go, this is the side plank. Bring it back down, all right? That's the side plank. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Modified version, left side up, right here. Your foot is like this. Okay, bring your right arm up. This is a modified, a modified plank, modified side plank. But if you want to go further, if your practice lets you, side. Stack your feet up. Be here for a little bit if you can. That's how I'm feeling today. There we go, side plank. There we go. Bring it back down. All right. So we're gonna add. We're gonna do two on two and two next time. Okay. Reset and get into your child's pose. All right. Circle your arm. I'm gonna circle your wrist if you if you have to. Alright. Here we go. Alright, now we're going to probably do some low lunges, probably a couple utasanas, and then while this I think we're gonna be pretty much done. Alright, so I'm gonna do some warrior ones and warrior two. So let me bring this up a little bit. You guys can see me. Wait a minute. Oh, Lord. Hold on, y'all. All right, let me, break, let me back up a little bit. All right, hold on. All right. 
All right, so I hope y'all can see me. I hope y'all can hear me. All right, so we're gonna do some low lunges. All right. So, oh, let's go to downward facing dog. Okay. And we're gonna take our left leg, downward dog split, and bring it in between our hands. Pivot the right foot. And we're going to, I said low lunge, but we're just gonna do warrior one. <laughs> Vera one and Vera two. Vera one and Vera two. Hold the stomach again. Windmill it down. We're gonna do the right side. Split. Right foot in between the legs. Pivot the back foot. Make sure you're all aligned correctly. Warrior one, Vera one, Vera two. Make sure you're dristy over your left finger. I mean, your um, middle finger. Vera one. Bring your right foot down. And if you can, lean into it. If you can't, that's fine. And that's your lunge or bring it back there. Okay? Downward facing dog. Right foot. Lower your left leg. Bring it up. Make sure you align if you want to lean back a little bit. Bring it back down. Bring it back to child's pose. All right? Now we're going to bring it up. So, downward facing dog. And we're gonna jump or walk, walk your feet, no. Walk your hands back to your feet. Um, bend over and then you're going to grab your, your, your elbows, opposite elbows, and it's a rag doll pose. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Hands down on the mat if you can. And we're gonna do tossing up from here. Bring your arms up. This is chair pose. Here. Hold it. Hold the stomach in. Bring it back down. Arms be um, hands behind your legs. We're gonna do 40s. This is number two. Bring it down here. Number three. Bring it back down here. Number four, bring it back down here. Now, I want you to bring our arms up. Three, Tadasana, again. Bring your hands to heart center. Bring your arms up. Bend the back a little bit. Now we're gonna focus on something and we're gonna do a, the balancing stick, warrior uh, three. We're gonna do the right leg, it's gonna go out. So balance, balance, balance. Root in. And stay there. Breathe, foot flex. Breathe. If you can't do this, that's fine. Breathe, bring it back down. You wanna do the same for the right leg. Root the right leg down. Left is gonna go out. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Focus on something. Hold it. Hold it there. Hold it. Hold it. Bring it back down. All right? Now, I'm gonna swan dive to the floor. Then we're gonna go into a squat. Bring your feet to, your feet to the edges of the mat. Bring it down, squat. All right, we're gonna do up and down squat, up and down here. Bring it back down. That's two. We're gonna do six of these. Three, four, five, six. All right, now we're going to bring our hands down and go into crow pose right now. No. <laughs> no, that would have been good, but no. All right, we're at tabletop pose. We're going to take a few cat and cows. And we're winding down. A few cat and cows. A few cat and cat. 
I'm gonna breathe. We're still breathing here. Don't forget we're breathing. back to child's pose and we're going to breathe child's pose is here or your knees together whichever is up to you do whatever you need to do to reset yourself all right also you can go to downward facing dog if you feel as though that is good for you it don't have to be necessarily child's pose it could be downward facing dog it could be child's pose it could also just be laying on your back and taking it in until you have yourself reset it for a few minutes and you come back and join the class okay so that's basically about that so um now we are here and now we're gonna come out of that and then we're going to come down and we're going to lay down this is the boat pose so all right please let y'all um hold on uh let me get closer to y'all since i'm gonna be on the ground now so continue to breathe all right we're winding down now we're getting to the savasana so i'm coming back closer to y'all all right we're winding down winding down all right so here we go so y'all can see me winding down all right we're gonna be laying down here all right now oh don't lay down yet i want y'all to let y'all y'all core help y'all down all right so um as we're doing the boat pose going down so just bring it down like this bring it down bring it down bring it down there you go all right so don't go back don't come back up i had to move up all right all right so now we're going to take our right foot and right leg and we're going to put it on our left leg and we're going to press it here and we're going to do a figure four all right this is open up the hip flexors as well even though we're slowing down you know it still helps if you want to take it further put your arms through and bring it here if not stay where you are feet are flexed all right bring it back down all right switch legs all right we're opening it up open it up just a little bit pushing the knee down as far as you can then we're going to do the figure four feet are flexed feet are flexed nice stretch over here you feel a nice stretch over here on the side very nice if you feel pain please stop bring it down all right we're gonna do windshield wipers once again windshield wipers all right then we're gonna do some mini bridges and then we're gonna go into savasana all right now we're going to bring our feet a little bit closer to the buttocks area and make sure it's like like fist width width apart a little bit here you know your fist width okay the, the heels and your butt okay all right and we're going to lift the pelvis so one two three lift breathe chin is down hands on the mat flat bring it back down we're going to do four of these up bring it back down up Bring it back down and up. Bring it back down. Next time we'll do more of those. That's a nice, nice exercise here. Okay. So now we're gonna get into savasana. Do what you feel before you get into savasana. Maybe it's a split or something or whatever the case is. I'm going to do something before I'm in savasana. Whatever I do, please do not do because you guys know I would do something that's probably outrageous to you. So um, I probably might do my regular pigeon pose, but. Let me think of something else because my mood today, let me see. So while I'm figuring that out, you guys can get some water real quick and then we're going to go get into Savasana, okay? Hmm, um, let's see. Hmm, hmm. I'm not sure if I want to do this. Uh, oh, okay. All right, so I'm going to do this. is different okay all right nice little stretch right here um so there we go all right oh now we get into savasana um 
you can um um go into savasana down your palms are facing up and your let your feet are to the sides and you are slowly 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 but surely slowing down your breathing and as your heart rate slows down and as you close your eyes and as you unclench your teeth relax your facial muscles and as you fall deeply into savasana sailing in the practice that you have done today as you continue to breathe and breathe and relax and breathe as you remember your intention that you set for your class for tonight. As you wiggle your fingers and you wiggle your toes, you move your hands side to side, you open up your eyes. As you slowly bring yourself to awareness, back to reality, coming slowly out of Savasana, you're going to move to your right or left side, whichever is comfortable for you. You're going to take a moment to sit up and end the class. Bring yourself up, get into a nice seated position, which is comfortable for you. And I'm gonna end the class in the sound of Om. You're gonna inhale and exhale. And on the second exhale, I'm gonna end the class in the sound of Om. Inhale, exhale, hands at heart center. Inhale, Om. Thank you for joining me in class today. Thank you for looking at the beginning as well. And I appreciate you guys for joining and participating and all the support that I received from you. Thank you. Namaste. All right, y'all. That is it. That is the class. Yay. So I just wanted to let you guys know, thank you so much for um, coming and participating and staying and again i apologize for the beginning to those of you that watched it or to those of you that are watching the replay and watch that part i really apologize about that um you know i just had to let that out because it, it, i just needed to say that because you know um by me disabling the chat i really feel i really feel feel good about it i feel that right now i did focus on what i needed to focus on which is the yoga and the aspect of what the poses are and I felt like a nice and clear mind and that's what I need when I am doing the yoga and I'm glad that I emptied out whatever I had to empty out be before the yoga and was able to do the yoga and now that I did that and now I feel very uplifted and I feel like I lifted everything up um, you know, sometimes you just need to vent out and sometimes you just need to talk, even though you're just talking to a camera, sometimes you just need to do that and just let people listen. And even though if you, you know, you're just talking it out and, you know, with yourself or whomever it is or whatever the case is, but I'm glad you guys listen. I, again, I hope nobody's offended because I disabled the chat. This is, this is my decision and this is why I needed to do this to focus and to be in my practice because I needed to do that. Okay. This is the best decision for me. This is my best decision decision for my YouTube channel, my brand, my yoga practice, and whatever else I do, you know, outside of YouTube and in my personal life, 
you know this is this is very good so the next time i'm gonna do a live um hopefully will be next week um it is um it's friday so um it will be next week okay i'm sorry i didn't do an upload um i will try to do an upload and have it for next week um i said that in the past two weeks and i apologize so i'm gonna try to do it again my life has been very hectic i've been doing doing a whole bunch of things and, it, and it's just been crazy hectic for me this is why and i'm i'm uh, this is why i'm going live on a friday and also this is why i'm, I'm I can't believe I was able to squeeze this. Um, so, but I, I just wanted to try this out because I didn't think it was possible to um, disable the chat, but it, it was possible. So um, that's basically about that. So I will be doing a live probably Monday because I am off on Monday. Um, so um, I will give you guys a time, I'm probably like six six thirty, and I will you know keep you guys updated on the YouTube post so you guys can so you guys can see. I like to keep you guys updated. So since I will be doing this, I will be disabling the chat. So so those of you that you know don't like that again you can click the x or keep it moving you know not to be mean or anything but that's just what it is okay so that's just basically about that so thank you so much you guys thank you for being there with me again you can leave comments at the end if you have any questions you can ask me the questions in the comments i definitely will you know ask you i'm not disabled in the comments just disabled the chat that's all all right so that's just basically about that i really really feel good about this and i like this and um and I want you guys to continue to grow in with my journey. And also, I, I take I take stuff into consideration, especially like my subscribers. You know, one of them, they, they've been with me for a while and was asking me about, you know, just doing the upload. And that's where the upload of doing the yoga kind of came from because, you know, she said something. I took it into consideration. And now I think this is even a step, you know, further as to take into consideration because I'm being, you know, you have my undivided attention and I don't have the chat. So, um, and I thank her for that. And she knows who she is you've been following me for a while and um i really appreciate her a lot and i appreciate all of you a lot thank y'all for your support thank you for joining me thank you for participating and thank you so much you know even though you know things have i had some changes this is what i had to do for myself to make myself happy because i had to be happy in what i'm doing you know so that's just basically it about that so thank you so much um again i apologize i will i won't do that again unless i just need the vent you know whatever like that but i just basically just need to do that okay i'm going down I know I'm rambling. I know I'm rambling off and talking, talking, talking. Like blah, 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 blah. But that's just basically it about that. So yeah. So um, I will talk to you guys later. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Um, and I will see y'all on the uploads. I will see y'all on the live next week. Um, again, leave a comment if you like. If you don't, that's fine. And um, again, I just appreciate y'all and um, thank y'all so much. And I was doing all the crying, boohooing, and I'm sorry. I, that wasn't supposed to happen, but it did. Okay. Um, I am an emotional person. All right, that's it, y'all. I'm out of here. Thank you guys so much for um, being here. I'm out of here. I'm getting bit up, and I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day, blessed night whenever you're watching this. And I will talk to y'all later. All right, y'all. Peace. Bye.